Hello everybody. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Um, here I am painting another watercolor painting. And this time I didn't put myself on camera. Basically, I didn't have room for myself anyway. So I decided not to do that. Um, I videotaped the whole process of me painting it this time. I didn't uh, show the process of me grinding the uh, Chinese Wilder Stones like I did in the other one. I just did the watercolor process of it. And it was took me like two hours to paint this painting. So, uh, still not knowing how to uh, speed up the tape. I was going to try to figure out how to speed up the tape. But with my Windows Movie Maker, I couldn't figure out where to do that at. Oh. Uh, there are times on the storyline where I've tried to speed up other tapes by simply scrunching the video all shorter and it's actually cut the video off. So I'm not really good at trying to figure out how to speed up a, a tape here in Winnie's Movie Maker. So if anybody wants to tell me how, please help. I want to be able to do that. Of course, you might not get the uh, feel for the true watercolor painting if I were to speed it up because then you would see me moving really fast and that's not how you watercolor paint and there would be no such thing as speed watercolor painting because you have to let parts of the uh, paint dry I've entitled this uh, painting he has the whole world in his hands now yesterday while I was online which was um, the 11th of January in 2008 um, you know for future if somebody happens across this and doesn't know when I was talking about I um, watched a couple of my subscribers' videos, and one was talking about polar bears, and one had put up a video of, of polar bears. And uh, <clears throat> so, anyway, with talking about polar bears, um, they were mentioning that uh, you know, polar bears in a zoo. One of the mama bears uh, had three baby cubs, and she killed two of the pup cubs before the zoo officials could um, stop her from killing them. And they managed to rescue the third. Um, but uh, polar bears happen to be on the endangered uh, species list because, um, first of all, of global warming and the uh, ice caps are melting, their habitat that they live in is decreasing in its size. Um, and also, that means that the uh, seals, there's less seals for them to eat. You know, the foods that they eat. They're getting decreased as well, so they are endangered species. The numbers are slightly better now than they were several years ago. However, they're not good enough yet to be taken off of the endangered species list. So I decided to do a drawing of the polar bears. Now, there was another person online that, you know, you know when you look at a video, it'll have related videos beside it. And this particular person had a related video. I mean, another person I haven't even subscribed to yet. I might need to, <laughs> but they had a, a video where they had pictures um, of polar bears in the tundra, you know, on the South Pole. And um, so what I did is I, there were two pictures that I liked the most. One was of a mama bear protecting her little baby cub, and like you see here, and another one of a baby cub playing by itself. So, in this depiction, I have God's hands in the sky. The clouds are formed in the shape of a hand. Um, so, as, you know, in, in kind of a, like a cup position where that they're protecting um, the mama bear and her baby bear. Or the whole world, so to speak. Um, the baby bear has uh, prints in the snow show that he's wandered off away from his mom. But he's turned back in the direction toward his mom. So he's not far away enough where he can't run back to the safety of his mother. Now, in the drawing that you don't see here because I couldn't get the whole thing into the tape, I show a fourth bear. Actually, all I show is the shadow of a fourth bear. Um, so he's, he's off the screen where you can't see him, but he's there nevertheless. Now, beside the mama bear is a spot where a larger bear was laying down and got up. And, you know, the prints are larger, so they represent a bigger bear. Could represent the daddy bear. Might not. But it shows that he's wandered off. So, in, in this one, it shows that, you know, what, what I, the message that uh, I have for this is that, you know, 
God, you know, has us in his hands and he's protecting us. Now, he's not going to, if we want to get up and wander away, he's not going to stop us. But he, we never can wander so far away that we can't go back to God. So, basically the message, there's nothing we can do or cannot go too far. I mean, there's no way we can go far enough away where we can't come back. We can always come back to God no matter what we've done, no matter what, how far we've gone away from God. Then we can always come back. Um, that's basically the, the theme, the message in, in this particular um, drawing. Um, I don't know if I told you already, but I titled it, He Has the Whole World in His Hands. And uh, now, I had a really hard time with this one because everything is supposed to be white. So um, eventually, I relied back on what I like to do by, you know, making heavy lines around, you know, some of my key points in my subjects, you know, to to just highlight the important stuff. Uh, I did not do that to the paw prints, but. Those are dark enough where I didn't need to. Um, but anyway, I actually ordered uh, another color of the um, for the Chinese ink sticks the other day, and I probably get it in the mail in a couple of weeks. And I, I ordered another one of those ink stones uh, from Amazon.com. And uh, that one should be here in a, in a couple of days. I'll get that one before I do the, the ink sticks. It had a color that I liked. There was another blue color that I really wanted to replace. Because, see, it looked like the similar color to the one of the ink, the chips colors that I have that I've been using. Like, especially what I used for the sky here in this particular one. Um, <clears throat> to have two different colors of blue would be fabulous so anyway um this clip you know was so long that of course like i said told you in the beginning that uh i couldn't record the whole thing uh, didn't know how to fast forward and so anyway please once again if you know how to fast forward with Mooney's movie maker let me know, please. Somebody, help. Tell me how to fast forward with Wendy's mo Windows Movie Maker. Really want to know. So, anyway. Here is the finished drawing. What it looks like. It was a little bit wrinkly because of the paper I chose. But I think it turned out okay. So, <clears throat> I'm going to say bye now. Uh, because the end is approaching fast. So, Bye now.